on May 21st, 2019 at 302 and 29 seconds, coordinated universal time, advanced LIGO and advanced Virgo observed a short duration gravitational wave signal, GW190521. The signal was of a shorter duration and peaked at lower frequency than any other binary black hole merger observed to date, indicating that it was going to be the most massive in spiral ever detected. The in spiral frequencies were so low that they were out of the sensitivity range for the LIGO detectors. Here's the chirp sound. Without the lead-in wave, and with a very low peak frequency, this sounds more like a thud than a chirp. As we found earlier, with the first gravitational wave, the frequency data gives us the masses of the merging black holes and is fed into numerical general relativity simulations to compute the remnant's mass. The analysis shows that the merger included two black holes with 85 solar masses and 66 solar masses. The calculated mass of the remnant is 142 solar masses. This, along with the strain amplitude, gives us the luminosity distance to the source at 17.3 billion light years. Note that the remnant mass is less than the combined masses of the two merging black holes by around nine solar masses. This mass difference was converted into the energy of the gravitational wave. That's almost triple the energy created by GW150914. In our chapter on black holes, we identified three types. Stellar mass, the smallest, supermassive, the largest, and intermediate mass black holes, IMBH for short, in between the other two, with a range from 100 to 100,000 times the mass of the Sun. We pointed out that, to date, there has not been a single confirmed discovery of a black hole in this range. So, with 142 solar masses, this event represents the first direct evidence of the existence of such objects. Here's where GW190521 fits on the sensitivity graph. 